there was a time when naval battles were fought at close quarters. By the time the Royal Australian Navy was founded on October the 4th, 1913, naval warfare was fought from horizon to horizon. But modern warships in action today may not see their enemy. This ship is HMAS Hobart a guided missile destroyer known as a DDG. She is fitted with the Tata surface-to-air missile system and her two entirely automatic rapid-fire guns alone have more firepower than the eight eight-inch guns and eight four-inch guns of the World War II heavy cruiser HMAS Australia. Today's captains see and locate their enemies by means of electronic signals. The weapons they use to destroy those enemies need a minimum of human assistance. Man is required for only one operation, decision. From a missile range on the Australian coast, a Jindavik target aircraft will fly towards the ship, skillfully controlled from ashore to simulate an attacker, a bogey. The Navy has its own surface-to-air missile range at Jarvis Bay, a few hours steaming south of Sydney. At the range, technicians get their aircraft ready for the attack. Hobart's antennas sweep the sea and sky. The Jindavik will soon be seen. The early warning radar reveals a contact. New bogey three or four five. Hike find and interrogate bogey three or four five. Bogey three or four five. Angels thirty. Man still has not acted. Electronic devices keep him informed of his enemy's speed, range, height, and bearing. Now man must make a decision. He must decide how to deal with his enemy. He has the choice of guns or missiles. Each weapon has particular uses. Each is automatic. Now the direction officer speaks. Allocate the target to missiles, he asks. Agree, says his captain, and the order is given. Man has decided. Stand by load order. Launcher loaded. System tracking. The missile system is automatically tracking the target. Its computer calculating the path to be taken by the missile the sailors call the bird. Already electronic signals are being fed into the missile as it waits on its launcher. Bogey three, four, five, angels, first. Stand by firing. Five, four, three, two, one, birds away. This firing was reported as a kill. The Royal Australian Navy is very different from the first Australian fleet which entered Sydney Harbour on October the 4th, 1913. Today's Royal Australian Navy has ships as modern as any in the world.